As I came out uh, today and settled into this comfortable chair, uh, it was a wonderful feeling to be back at uh, Launchpad uh, 39A. It was a difference this time. I want to turn and ask uh, Neil a question and maybe tell Buzz Aldrin something. And uh, of course, uh, <laughs> I'm here by myself, but uh, at any rate, uh, I know they would enjoy joining into this sort of a conversation as much as I'm looking forward to it. What did it feel like to ride that rocket? The feeling on board uh, a Saturn V uh, after engine ignition is quite different than what you might imagine. Uh, uh, if, you, if you watch it f uh, from a distance, it makes a stately ascent and uh, you're quite aware of the gigantic uh, power it is producing, seven and a half million pounds of thrust. But inside, it's a different situation. Uh, inside, uh, you're not worried about your power so much as you're worried about your steering and uh, you're, uh, you're, you're suspended uh, inside uh, the cockpit, uh, not too far away from that launch umbilical tower that's right off to one side. As you lift off, uh, if there's any imbalance, uh, it's compensated for by the uh, swiveling of your motors below you. You have five uh, engines down there. And as you ascend very slowly, majestically inside, it's a different situation. You feel jiggling left to right, and uh, you're not quite sure whether those jiggles are as big or small as they should be, or how much closer they're going to put you to that launch umbilical tower, which you do not very much want to hit right that moment. So it's a totally uh, different feeling at liftoff. Uh, um, the, the, the nervous novice driving a wide vehicle down a narrow alley, and then once you clear the tower and things smooth out a bit, you pick up speed, then it becomes more like you might imagine uh, watching it from afar. You're, you're more conscious of the uh, gigantic amount of power below you. You're more conscious of the acceleration and the speed that you're picking up, and, and then you uh, soon find out that uh, your, uh, your machine, your, your Saturn, breaks apart into pieces. Uh, when it's finished with piece number one, uh, jettisons uh, it, and uh, that gives you a, a momentary skyrocket inside the cockpit. The cockpit is immediately full of, of uh, not, not any fire or flames, but the vision, the idea, <laughs> the, the sight of... Uh, yeah being surrounded by fire, then it's, when it gets through that little hiccup, uh, from then on it's a quieter, uh, more rational, silent ride all the way to the moon.